It was a normal early morning drive. My wife and I were headed in two separate vehicles. Going to a fundraising event. We left about 6.15, so it's dark. When suddenly... There was like an explosion. All of a sudden I heard a, a loud bang. Both cars had been hit with something on Scottsdale Road just north of the Loop 101. My first thought was something has just fallen out of the sky. Maybe a part fell off of an aircraft. Or maybe a meteorite. We posted it on Facebook and somebody mentioned who lives up north here that there's actually a meteor shower. Scottsdale police say they didn't receive any reports of rock throwing this morning. So what were these mysterious objects and does the meteor shower have anything to do with it? Absolutely not. No chance whatsoever. Here at ASU's Center for Meteorite Studies, scientists say the ongoing meteor shower is just a coincidence. And those materials that burn up in the upper atmosphere are tiny, very soft, and they don't make it to the ground. Though there is still a chance the damage was caused by a galactic visitor. It's possible, but the chances are just minuscule. But for this valley couple... Very grateful that the damage we have, insurance will take care of, and we're, we're okay. A mysterious misadventure that'll keep these two with an eye toward the sky. In Scottsdale, Max Gordon, Arizona's family. Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. And uh, before we get to some other news in the video, I wanted to start out with this very strange clip. And how about that scientist guy and just how angry it seemed to make him that he was asked whether these strange things falling had anything to do with meteorites. What were these mysterious objects and does the meteor shower have anything to do with it? Absolutely not. No chance whatsoever. Here at ASU's Absolutely not. No chance whatsoever. <laughs> All right. So aside from the freakishly angry scientist who is adamant that this had nothing to do with meteorite showers, he wants that to be known. Don't ask him again either. Absolutely not. Um, we have this first strange story of, well, everything that was just explained to you in the video, where mysterious objects have hit two cars in Scottsdale, Arizona. They have no idea what the objects were that fell from the sky. Uh, there weren't in, any evidence that, that it was natural, you know, it, not your tip. I mean, when you think of what could be falling from the sky, and there's only a few things, maybe kids throwing rocks from somewhere, some dropping birds, but they, they couldn't really find what it was. And they didn't receive any calls for any potential rock throwers in the area. Um, and yeah, all of a sudden they heard a loud bang. Then the woman's Lexus had been hit, but fared a little bit better, receiving only a chip in the windshield. But uh, yeah, it's just a really strange story. Uh, things not only being seen in the skies, but things falling from the sky. Time will tell if they can find something to attest to that, but really strange. And speaking of uh, people hearing of, of loud booms, you know, Mother Earth really seems to be acting up lately. Because yet again, we have another report here, this time out of Mobile, Alabama, where people across the entire county have begun hearing and reporting a loud booming noise. Now, if you guys are, well, if any of you guys are new to the channel, you'll know if you go back through my past videos, we've been documenting this strange phenomenon going on. It's been happening the past couple of years, and it seems to have really ramped up, and that is these massive booms or underground rumblings. Some of them are followed by lights in the sky, but they sound like almost like bombs going off, but with never a natural explanation ever given. Some of these things are heard underground, they're shaking houses, they are putting cracks down the middles of highways and farmland. I mean, it truly is a, a scary and growing phenomenon. And so every now and then I'll report on these and we'll, we'll have new ones like we've had this week out of Mobile, where the local News 5 news team has been getting reports of a loud boom over Mobile County. Mobile Fire even responded to a call of a possible explosion, but found nothing. From reports to our newsroom, the new boom that was heard in Mobile and Grand Bay and other areas could be chalked up to a simple sonic boom from a jet passing over. Now, it was also found out that there was a SpaceX rocket launch about the same time, and it's not clear that's what everyone was hearing. Some of the reports into their newsroom would coincide with that time. However, others were much earlier in the day. 
and the rocket launch was at 2.46 central time according to SpaceX's YouTube channel. Uh, sonic booms of aircraft are common in the area, but whether that's the cause, that has not been determined, and so far, no one in the area has reported the sightings anywhere in or around these counties of any jets flying through. That's usually the go-to first cover story when these booms are heard, and believe me, I can tell you this, these cover stories almost always never last for long. It's just something they throw up super quick, hope people forget, but um, we always follow up with these, so we're going to do that with this story. And uh, if any of you guys have heard these strange ground-shaking booms near you, uh, definitely shoot me an email and try to get some footage of it. Now, we also have some more of this massive ground-shaking, but this time, it's not coming from something unexplained. It's not coming from an earthquake, but what have been described as the world's largest waves along with wind gusts of more than 100 kilometers an hour that have been pounding Newfoundland, which is an island uh, up in the eastern province of Canada, uh, an island which has been hit so hard by these waves and wind that it's actually started shaking. And so according to this report here from Strange Sounds, the effects of the incredibly strong, low-pressure system moving through the Atlantic caused more than ripples across the Atlantic Ocean this week, causing giant waves to track towards Europe and Africa. The largest waves on the planet crashed onto the Grand Banks of Newfoundland, with significant wave height of over 15 meters or 50 feet tall, and theoretical maximum wave height of over 30 meters or 100 feet tall on November 14th and 15th of this year. And as these massive waves and wind gusts started hitting the island, it began shaking, with the effects of it seen from the seismographs in St. John, as you're seeing below. So, definite underground movement here, and according to John Cassidy, a seismologist at the Department of Natural Resources of Canada, similar seismic activity is recorded at this time of year when giant waves combined with high winds engulf the eastern and western coastal regions of Canada. The video here, out of Newfoundland, gives us a little bit more insight as to just what they are going through. Now, speaking of massive waves, we also have another story. This within the Canary Islands, where enormous waves are wiping away balconies, with many people wondering now, how is it possible for a low-pressure system to create these giant waves and have such an effect? Something else, many are saying, must have caused waves this big. According to local reports, 39 people have been evacuated from their homes, although fortunately nobody has been injured. The turbulent sea has also battered the southern coast of the island Spain, where the windows of hotel restaurants were reportedly broken while several people were dining. Big, big stuff happening around the world, guys. We're going to continue following it. Mother Earth really does seem to be acting up lately. And before we go today, I'd like to show you some very interesting new UFO footage that was just sent in by a viewer out of Florida who captured a strange formation of triangular lights right near a naval base down in Florida. So check this out. It just, it's going over there. I think it might be something from the naval base. I don't know. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh, you have the dogs. You have the dogs. Oh, Bamba, go get him. Bro, what the fuck? It's just, it's going over there. I think it might be something from the naval base. I don't know. Okay, so very interesting footage. Uh, we've been posting many more videos recently of these triangular-shaped UFOs. Some call them TR-3Bs, secret government craft. Others say that they're from off-world, displaying characteristics of things that just simply couldn't be accomplished by humankind. And so, as more footage comes in, that's just going to be something that you guys are going to have to decide one by one. But great footage. Now, there is a base near here called the Homestead Air Reserve Base. And uh, there's a, a bunch more down there in Florida scattered all around. So I'm going to do some more digging. Could this be something secretively being tested? I'll do some more analysis of it, run it through some filters. Um, either way, it does look strange. I don't see any flashing lights that would that to tell me at least that it's a man-made craft or, or one at least that we know about. So, big thanks to the viewer. I'll put the uh, link to his channel down below in the video. You can check it out, show him some love. And in the meantime, stay safe. I've got much more UFO footage coming. Tyler is back, I assure you. I had to take a few day break. Uh, I've actually been behind the scenes gearing up for some big things coming to the channel. Some really big things. I can't talk about it just yet, but let's just suffice it to say, Secure Team is expanding. It's going to be the same channel as always with just me here hosting. But let's just say with, with great YouTube power and uh, with the power to amass an army of, of true seekers like we have here with this channel, well, you have a lot of people suddenly knowing who you are, wanting to do business with you, wanting to get you to help them. And these are some of the biggest names out there uh, who have taken notice of what we're doing here on this little channel. So with that, we're going to take this research to the next step. And it's going to be extremely fun and an awesome adventure to share with all of you. So more footage is coming tomorrow. I hope you guys all had a great night. Stay tuned, stay safe, and I'll see you all back in just a bit.